Hi Fab Girls, it's Ella here and welcome to my January favourites. Now this is going to be a brand new series, uh, a lot of like fashion and beauty bloggers do do this and they share what their favourites were for the previous month. So for me that's going to include uh, beauty products, um, a couple of lifestyle things like TV programmes, songs, films, whatever. Anything that I've been particularly enjoying um, I am going to talk about. You'll have to excuse the way I look, I'm in my scrubs today, it's just, it's Saturday get over it. So let's get started with the things that I've been enjoying in the month of January. The first thing is uh, this vanilla and macadamia cocoon hand wash uh, by Crichton's, whoever they are, um, which we got from Home Bargains. I think it was about 99p, which is insane, um, but it smells absolutely incredible. It smells better than a lot of things that are like five times the price. Maybe more actually, because that only makes it a fiver, um, but it's 500 mils that you get. Uh, it really, really, really smells good. Um, it's nice and creamy. So if you're in Home Bargains and you see this, give it a go. It's really, really lovely. Uh, and I think you'll like it, especially if you're like a, a vanilla-y, coconut -y kind of fan. This is great. You will love this. My next product is technically seasonal, but you can still get it because I checked last night. It is the Original Source Raspberry and Cocoa Shower Gel. My best friend Hazel gave this to me uh, because she decided she preferred like the raspberry and vanilla one, which was out at the same time. But I absolutely love this. I love chocolate with fruit. Like I love the scent. I love the taste. Uh, so I really, really liked this. I'm going to have to pick up another one or two or three before um, they start manufacturing it. So uh, it's definitely in Superdrug at the moment on their website it's sold out on the boots website but that's because they were doing these for a pound they're normally about two pounds 29 i think uh, but they might still be in stores so uh, give this a go if you too like uh, the scent of raspberry and the scent of chocolate because it, it smells absolutely divine and i adore this next we have the philip kingsley one more day uh, dry shampoo this is fantastic. Um, I go through a different dry shampoos like there's no tomorrow. I seem to change my mind every five minutes about them. But this is probably the best I've ever used. It's expensive. A full size is about £14. So, uh, you know, it might not be for you because it is so pricey. But I found that a lot of dry shampoos will leave your hair and your scalp feeling a little bit dry. This makes it feel super, super silky. This is obviously a trial size or a travel size. Uh, it's not the full size. I think I got this in, I know, off eBay or in like my birch box or something like that. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, but it leaves your hair so, so silky like you've just washed it rather than dry and, you know, just kind of like, like all the oil sucked up if you know what I mean. So I'll probably be buying this again uh, just because it is so nice. Um, it leaves your hair smooth and lovely like no other dry shampoo I've ever used. So yeah, this is a real favourite of mine this month. My next pick is the 17 Blowout Volumized Tea Sculpt blah 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 mascara. Um, I really really like this for uh, a high street mascara. A lot of the mascaras I use are high end. I love Benefits They're Real. I love Lancome mascaras. Um, but for something that's, this costs about £6.50 or something like that, it's so good. And it really really gives your lashes really black dark pigment um, it really makes them stand out I'll show you the brush really really massive brush that you can see here there we go um, and so it gets loads of product on your lashes um, makes them look really voluptuous and I really enjoy this um, I actually recommended this to Hazel again I said if you want to spend more money go for benefits they're real if you want a bit of a budget go for this so this came highly recommended. She chose their reel in the end, which she absolutely loved. Um, but I would encourage anybody who's, you know, on a bit of a budget when it comes to mascaras, give this one a go. I was so pleasantly surprised by it. So this is awesome. My next product is a lip gloss by MAC, and this is in the shade Nymphette. Now, you won't be able to see this probably, but it is a beautiful rose gold sort of shimmer colour. It is sensational. It's so beautiful that you can wear it during the day and it will just give your lips a little bit of extra glamour or you can wear it with like a dark smoky eye at night. It's really, really versatile. Um, this is probably my favourite lip gloss from MAC. I'd buy it again and again and again. Um, it's just 
stunning and as you know probably if you've been reading my blogs I love rose gold anyway I don't know how well you can see that but that is a swatch of the lip gloss I absolutely adore it I think you will too so give this a go if you're in the market for a new MAC lip gloss the last of my beauty picks is a blusher and this is by the brand Gosh. The shade's Flower Power and it's so beautiful. It gives you a really natural flushed glow. It's perfect for my skin tone and apparently this has been a blogger's favourite um, just because it gives such a beautiful natural flush to your cheeks like you're blushing. Um, I think it would be suitable for pretty much any skin tone just because it's so buildable you can just sweep a little bit on your cheeks or you can build it up if you've got darker skin or want more of an effect uh, I adore this and I found myself like reaching for it more this month I've got so many blushes that as you can imagine like for one to come to the forefront is quite special so I picked this up again and I was thinking oh I haven't used this for a bit I'll I'll give it a go and I haven't put it down since so I've been using this more or less non-stop for at least two weeks absolutely love it I'm not entirely sure how much it is I think it's around 750 it might be a little bit more might be a little bit less I'm not entirely sure but I got this from Superdrug um, I think I bought it when it was a, a couple of pounds off which encouraged me ah oh, yeah I'll give it a punt but it's gorgeous uh, everything that people say about it is true pick this up if you're looking for a lovely natural looking blusher I've also been loving my brush from beautybay.com uh, it's leopard print if you know me I love leopard prints um, it's a bit tacky looking but I think it's really cool anyway um, it's one of those tangle teaser style brushes as you can probably see now I've never owned a tangle teaser but I've heard that they're really good but this is what they call an untangling brush or a detangling brush or something uh, it's really good and it really does detangle my hair I'll give myself a little brush with it right now see See how smooth that is? Lovely. So yeah, this is only a fiver. Um, I was in the market for a new hairbrush because my body shop hairbrush, which I probably had for about 10 years, uh, is, is on its way out. I know that sounds ridiculous and disgusting, but I wash my brush every time I wash my hair. So I keep it clean, I keep it hygienic. And when you do that, if you've got a good quality hairbrush, it will last you years. But sadly, it's really on its way out. All the bristles are starting to fall out, so I'm just like, oh, I really need another hairbrush. So uh, when I was ordering some stuff for my mum from Beauty Bay at Christmas, I thought I'd give this a go, and I absolutely love it. I'd probably get um, a little handbag size one as well, um, and for the sake of a five, I'll probably get another one to put in like the bathroom or something. It's really, really good. It comes in just plain black, uh, purple, just a variety of different shades. Hot pink, I think but it's well worth a go if you're searching for a cheaper alternative to a Tangle Teaser. I don't know, again, whether it's whether the product's comparably good because I've never used Tangle Teaser, but this really untangles my hair really well, so uh, a big thumbs up from me. Moving on to the other bits and bobs that I've really been enjoying for January, uh, one of them is my phone case. Now I've got a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It's a ye olde phone but I absolutely love it because it does everything I want it to do. Uh, it still works after nearly two years which is rare these days. I see no reason to upgrade it until it goes to Silicon Heaven. Red Dwarf joke. So as far as I'm concerned I'm keeping this for as long as I can. But anyway, I ordered this off eBay, uh, and it is literally not a case, but one of the backs that snaps onto the phone itself. Um, I'll link it below, because while you won't have the same phone as me, I have a feeling that you could just select which phone that you actually have. So if you've got one of those compatible phones, you can get uh, the one that's there. It's a really beautiful, um, just simple picture. It's a girl in a beautiful dress, lovely hair. Um, I just fell in love with it when I saw it and it's even nicer in real life. So I've really been enjoying this and I haven't put anything else on it since uh, I got this cover. So this is definitely one of my favourites for the month. On to a couple of TV programmes now. Um, I've been obsessed with the hundred now I don't know if you saw it last year um, and it's essentially a bit of a post-apocalyptic uh, series these people live on a spaceship called the ark which is deteriorating they're running out of oxygen so they send a hundred uh, teenagers down to earth so essentially I think there was some sort of nuclear war a few hundred years ago and they're sending these kids down to check whether the radiation levels are safe for them to actually go back to earth and inhabit it so last year, which was season one, was just really, really, really good anyway. It was a kind of Lord of the Flies meets the Hunger Games, I suppose. 
season two started this year and they're really not holding back like every single episode is drama 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 loads of stuff happens loads of plot twists which I'm not going to say what they are, obviously, in case you haven't seen it and want to watch it. But uh, every time I watch an episode of The 100, I just get so excited. From start to finish, it's stuff happening. There's not a quiet moment. And I really, really, really enjoy it. And I need to get season one on Blu-ray. But season two has just exceeded my expectations, which were pretty high anyway. So if you've not seen The 100 yet, you need to... Just get all over it. It's wonderful. Also in TV, I've really been enjoying The Undateables and also Too Ugly for Love. Now, The Undateables is showing on Channel 4. I'm not sure if it's come to an end yet, actually. But Too Ugly for Love, I believe, is still running and that's showing on TLC. Now, if you've been living under a rock and you've not seen The Undateables, it's essentially about um, people who have learning difficulties or autism, Asperger's, anything like that, who find it difficult to meet people. Um, and they, uh, they go to introduction agencies and things like that, and we see them go on dates. Uh, and it's basically following them in their quest for love. It's one of the most heartwarming things I've ever seen. It's so, so sweet. And all these people, they like, they tend to be so lovely. And like, you sit there and go, oh, I'd really like to go out with this person because they're just so nice which is fantastic um some people i think when it first started have said oh it's exploitation blah, blah blah it's not at all it's completely empowering and it's just really good fun to watch them go on their dates they're so sweet in the same vein too ugly for love is something very similar where they get set up on dates and everything uh, but these are people with physical defects so you've got uh, a guy who um, only had one arm i think there was a guy who only had one leg as well or that will be coming up uh, there was a lady with alopecia, there was a lady that had excess sweating and these are again really nice people uh, who found it really difficult to date because of the conditions that they have and it follows them and their relationships and stuff and again it's so heartwarming, it's so sweet and it's so nice to see these people being successful in dating and in relationships because it is difficult enough out there without having something extra to overcome. They're both well worth watching. I'll list down below the details of both of the shows. TLC, of course, you can only get on things like Virgin and Sky at the moment. And the last thing that I've been enjoying this month is a song. And it was a song that was released back in 2009. And you may or may not remember it, but it's a, a track called Perfect Exceder. Uh, and it's Mason versus Princess Superstar. Um, not only is the track absolutely hilarious and really, really catchy, but if you like gymnastics, then the video is a, a must watch because it's got loads of gymnasts with crazy makeup and doing cool moves. Uh, so I love, love, love that. I'll just play you a little snippet. One, two, three, four, let me just give you some, uh, push it, push it, watch me work it. Okay. You get the idea, and if you know the song, then you'll obviously recognise it immediately. If you've never heard it before, you need to look it up. I will link below the video so you can watch the, the Cool Gymnast as well. Um, but I've been using this to work out to. I recently got my cross train amended. It was broken for well over a year. So that got mended, and I've been going on it. And I will listen to this time and time again because it's really quite motivational um, and it's about looking good and it's really catchy and fun and it's good fun to work out to. So I have been listening to this virtually exclusively while I've been working out. It's been awesome. So that's all for my monthly favourites for January. I'm going to try and end every favourites video with an inspirational quote. This one is from Steve Martin and it's, be so good they can't ignore you. Thanks for watching guys. Please take a moment to subscribe. It would really help me out. Uh, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'll link them below. And of course, I'm always at fabulousblog.co.uk. Cheers guys. Bye.